Hey, it's Kevin. Thank you so much for coming by for another No BS Social Media Chat. We've been focusing on the top four, the big four, the important key social media sites over the last few weeks, and we reached the fourth and final. We, just, we did it alphabetically, so it wasn't the least important. As I said, of the big four, which we started with Facebook, went to Instagram, then to Twitter, and now to YouTube. I really think YouTube can be second or third most important behind Facebook. Instagram could be important. It could be second or third. It kind of depends on what you do and, and how you build your personal or business brand as to how important YouTube can be for you. Twitter, to me, again, like I said, is, is the fourth of the most important, but again, I think you need to be active on all four in some way, shape, or fashion. The hardest for a lot of people to be active on is YouTube because content is hard to create. As I joke, this video is going to last four or five minutes here. I don't know how long it'll go, but you know, in the four or five minutes, sometimes six minute range, I know. Um, but that six minutes where I talk about the subject, <laughs> that's just minuscule to what it takes to actually set up all the lighting. And even then, the lighting isn't great to my, my standards. It's not where I'd like it to be. It's good. It's decent. But the lighting is still tough. Well, then you got to go into the post-production. you got to go into the editing. Then I tweak some of the coloring in it to make sure I get a, a good coloring. Then i got to make sure I match the audio, make sure the audio is good. Then you put the intro, the outro, then you upload it. And, man, it takes a good hour per episode. So it's very time-consuming to create content on YouTube. What's interesting, too, with YouTube is in the last six months to a year, YouTube has really started focusing on the big players. They've started focusing more on the music business, more on the entertainment business, looking for ways to leverage those big accounts. The first sign we saw of that is when they basically said you had to have now, like, what is it, a thousand subscribers to be able to monetize your YouTube channel. They made it really tough. At once it was like a hundred, now it's a thousand subscribers. And let me tell you, getting a subscriber on YouTube can be tough unless you're doing something extra special and extraordinary. Because basically, if you've got a subscriber, that person's going to get an email every time you post new content. Now, usually they get it in, they get it in a digest of here this week, here's who's posted new content. But at the same time, it's a good little tool if you've got that subscriber base. But again, what are you going to put on YouTube? If you're a recording artist, we've always said there are four or five different types of videos you can use. It's pretty easy to me. I mean, it's, it's a matter of time to do it, but it's, it's easy to have content. For small businesses, that's when it gets tough. I've got a buddy who I've talked about before who runs a jewelry store, and he's been able to hook up a camera to his jewelry repair machine, and he can show you as he repairs diamond rings, as he repairs gold and silver, and that's fascinating. It's also great for people who have small businesses. Again, like I said, if you're selling video cameras, if you're selling something that you can, you can show people, you can unbox it, you can show them how to set it up. In fact, when I bought this camera, the Sony camera years ago, I actually went on YouTube to see an unboxing of it and to see how to set it up properly for what I needed it for. YouTube was great for that. Now again, you've got to find a reason to have content, and that's the hardest part. Um, these videos are my reason, dieta, if you will, for content on YouTube. This gives me at least one new video each and every week for the company, and we're able to get it up there. I do some, you know, some video blogging and things like that for my personal side, my Road Warrior videos that I've been doing for a long time. I'm up over 300 episodes of those, week in, week out for six, seven years, and, and they're fun. That's just something I can do for enjoyment. That's my way of having content on my personal page. But it's about finding what you can do, what you can bring to the table. I know, you know, I know recording artists who do cooking shows. I know recording artists who do interviews of other artists. I know people who do backstage stuff. Again, it depends on what you do for a living, what you do to build your brand, whether it's a business brand or a personal brand, as to how well you can use YouTube. And that's where it will determine if it's the second most important social media site or the third. Again, the hardest part is the time spent, the amount of effort spent, and then sometimes the return. Because the one thing I've seen with YouTube over the course of the last couple of two, three years, less and less return. With these videos, I get less comments, I get less visibility on a weekly basis than I did when I started them a few hundred episodes ago. It's just because there are more videos all the time on YouTube. There's more people with more stuff. And that's the hard part, cutting through the clutter. Then you've got to use your other social media channels, your Twitters, your Instagrams, your Facebooks, to promote the fact that it's on YouTube. And that's the cool thing about them. You can promote each and every one of them from the other sites. I even actually will upload these on Facebook, too, because I get more engagement by using this video. Three or four days after I post it on YouTube, I then post it to Facebook to get further engagement. Again, I don't care where people watch. It's just that they do. So it's still worth using video content. And they say video content, the amount of time people are spending with online video, going up and up and up all the time. Video and audio content, the key to building a brand on the Internet. Next week, another No BS social media chat.
Go back and watch if, you, if you've missed Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We talked about the big four. Here we're talking about YouTube. It's important to really focus on those four. And so I said right now, if you're focusing on social media for a building a, a personal or business brand, focus on the big four in some way, shape, or fashion. You've got to figure out which one to use most, which one to use where, and how for you. We can talk about that for free if you want. Absolutely free. Phone number, email address coming up here at the end of the video. Would love to chat. Reach out. Let me know. We'll talk soon. See you next week. Thanks.